I'm Caitlin Zeno, and I'm the Urban Grocer. I am a food writer, blogger, and world traveler on a quest to find young foodies who are pushing the boundaries of culinary creativity. I believe that the inventive spirit of groundbreaking chefs, sommeliers, writers, and artists is revolutionizing food online and in the kitchen. And as the Urban Grocer, I'm connecting all of these global talents who share my hunger for mind-blowing breakthroughs in food around the world. This is the Urban Grocer. Argentina. This is a place that is having its culinary coming of age. And I wanted to come here and, and share that amazing passion and love and spirit for food. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Nothing defines the future of the food scene here better than Cocina Creativa, a new movement that's making waves among young local foodies. And no place does this better than Teggy. And you can see behind me, they've got this graffiti-laden door, a speakeasy type space. The idea of this restaurant is really that only those that really want to eat here will find it. Teggy is the brainchild of chef Herman Martitegui. A bit of proof that chef Martitegui is brilliant, his charcoal mashed potatoes. Here we have the mashed potatoes. This is the, the charcoal oil. That smells like a summer barbecue. Can I give it a taste? That, that's just amazing. That, that blows my mind. In just a little over an hour, you can go from the busy, urban vibe of Buenos Aires to this. Jose Ignacio Uruguay home to the incredibly chic Estancia Vic. The Estancia, the ranch, was designed and decorated by local artists. You have all of these touches of very modern, contemporary, somewhat avant-garde art, and that's juxtaposed and matched with this amazing, traditional, very simple, very rustic food. And today, I'm meeting Estancia Vic's head chef, Marcello Betancourt a bohemian, passionate young cook. This is gorgeous. I was picking some herbs for the, for the barbecue. It takes a lot of work, but it's a lovely work. What we're doing with the lamb is to season it with chimichurri. You know chimichurri? That is new, very Uruguayan. No! Yeah. Wouldn't so... Argentine say the same thing? <laughs> I'm going to show you. I made a little cut in here. What we put in here? It's a, it's a garlic. Wow. Okay, we made a, a little cut in here. It's gonna perfume all the thing, and yeah, sure. then we're gonna take it out. Mm. That is so good. It's lovely. It's lovely. You can feel the lemon. The lemon says, amazing. That is part of the tradition. Yeah. It's part of who you are, what yeah. you cook. Yeah. What you cook is part of who you are. Sorry. Starts around 10, 10 30, goes until 9 a.m. the next day on some occasions. So I'm thrilled to get out and see what all the fuss is about. Ciao. We're gonna make a cocktail called Juan Collins. Okay. It's like a version, a Latin version of a Sean Collins. And we're gonna shake this. Go ahead. Like this? Yeah. But a little bit more. Yeah. When you <laughs> when you feel like it's, it's cold. Yeah. So it should be a little bit colder. Like that? Oh, you're very good. <laughs> It's sweet and easy going like the urban grocer. <laughs> closed door restaurant is very, very on trend here right now. It's where chefs open up their private homes to guests and they have small groups in to dine. One of the most buzzed about closed door restaurants here is Casa Felix, inside the home of Chef Diego Felix. Today, Chef Felix is using inspiration from this garden to make an arugula and papaya salad with a green pea puree. You want to go and get some uh, burrito. burrito? I love this idea of Argentina cuisine finding its own identity based in what is here and sort of moving away from this European past and influence. What do you think? Perfecto. What are you going to eat here in my house? Yes. You're not going to 
have it anywhere in the world because these herbs grow only here. This is Argentina. This is the flavor of this part of the world. Cheers. <laughs> Throughout my time in Buenos Aires, any postcard ideas I had of this city were quickly thrown out the window. Along the way, I learned that there is an overwhelming creative spirit redefining the food scene here, taking it to new spectacular heights.